Welcome back. You're watching Politically Correct. And with me here on set is Ugunja Member of Parliament, Opio Wandai. And we've been discussing a couple of issues from matters ICC to matters devolution. Opio, I want us to now go into matters court. What exactly is happening? There have, there have been rumors of a likely fallout. We want to look at that. But first, I want us to start with this. Within the coalition ranks, it's seen that affiliate parties are seeking to zone off certain parts of the country as their taps. Is this a sign that there are emerging cracks in ODM or let's just say CORD? No, no firstly, I, I must say that uh, CORD is a very popular movement in the country. And really the kind of jostling you are witnessing within it is testimony to that fact. There would be no jostling if the movement were not popular. So everybody wants to get space, okay? You don't see that kind of just like in TNA or Jubilee or those other parties. Because really they don't mean a lot to people. They are simply vehicles for elections. So code is a real movement of the people. Yeah, and that's why you see this uh, commotion. But having said that, mm -hmm. there, there, there has been no position yet taken with regard to our nominations or election strategy uh, next year, okay? Inter but internal election strategy, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But why, why is there li likely, well, it has looked like there's actual worry that is being created by the strategy of parties strengthening their support base. Uh, why are some worried about this? You know, you know, coalitions come in very many different forms. There are coalitions which are formed after elections. There are coalitions which are formed way before elections. And uh, there are coalitions also where individual member parties, okay, seed the identity, autonomy, and so on to the coalition. Whereas there are others where the individual party members, individual member parties rather, retain their identity, their autonomy, okay, and strength. That's the case with, with, with CORD. And it was a deliberate decision by us to, 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 make, to, have, to have that form of coalition. Okay? So it's not by chance or by mistake, it is by design. Well, with matters of who will be the flag bearer of CORD, uh, we've seen a uh, CORD leader, Rala Odinga, coming out and saying a system will be put in place to pick the person who will face President Uhuru Kenyatta in the August 2017 general election. What type of system are we looking at, if you know anything uh, about it? Well, you know, CORD as a coalition has got structures, okay, within itself, that manage day-to-day -day, uh, issues, okay? and also that address medium-term, long-term issues. The issue of identification of the presidential candidate for CORD is one such issue that the internal coalition organs are seized of. So really, what you are reading about, about uh, in CORD uh, is really much ado about nothing. Yeah, it is simply diversionary in my view. There are far more, much worse problems in Jubilee than there are in COD. But then so it is really a, a storm in a teacup? Like correct, Leaderello correct, DSA. correct. In the fullness of time, we shall unveil our presidential candidate. Yeah. How soon do you think that will be? Well, again, that is a matter of strategy, <laughs> yes. And uh, just watch the space. Well, at least 13 court MPs broke ranks with their opposition um, colleagues and attended Saturday's Thanksgiving ceremony for the Kenyans previously charged at the International Criminal Court. What does this portend or signify for the court's, uh, the court's unity? F firstly, as a coalition or as a movement, we don't really want to restrict uh, people's freedoms of movement, association, of thought, okay? But having said that, the court's position with regard to the Nakuru event was very clear. So none other than the coalition leader, Raila Odinga, did issue a statement, indeed, from, from abroad, okay? Mm -hmm. 
questioning the rationale for this particular rally in Akuru. Uh, again, it's the backdrop of serious cases of victims of the postulation violence not having been satisfactorily compensated or taken care of. Indeed, he likened it to dancing on the graves of the post-election violence victims. So, any right-thinking member of court coalition should have known that attending such a function would be against the spirit of the court coalition, the spirit and position of the court coalition. And but having said that, again, we have to leave it to the conscience of every member of the coalition insofar as uh, the actions they are involved in uh, are concerned. And again, you know, when elections are approaching like this, very many politicians really know their prospects of either getting re-elected or not. Many of those people you see trying to uh, go against the grain are people who have long lost hope of getting back to the elective position. By the way, why, why does it seem like Ford Kenya is entering into Busia County is causing jitters among some leaders? Why is this happening? That is also expected. Even though we are in a coalition, we have got members in the coalition, individual members, who have got political aspirations, political ambitions. So when they see those ambitions being jeopardized by actions or inactions of other parties or individuals, they are right to be concerned and to feel jittery. So that is really normal, really normal. Even me today, if uh, Ford Kenya or Wiper was seen to be grooming a candidate in my constituency of Ugonja, I would be concerned, not because I'm against Wiper or Ford Kenya, but because I'm, 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 I'm concerned about my constituency. So Ford Kenya party leader, um, Moses Wetangula, has been said to be in talks with Musali Mudavadi. Um, what are the sentiments coming from the ODM party members regarding this? In this country, people must talk and will continue to talk. And more so as we approach the next elections. Really, if there was no talking taking place, it would be a very dull situation. It would be very unusual, really, yeah, for, for politics to happen without talking. But does that signify a, a, maybe a likely move of Moses Wetangula exiting from court? On the contrary, it could also signify a likely move of Moses Wetangula luring Salem Dabadi back to court, you know, and making court stronger. <laughs> really, they should not read too much in these talks or discussions going on. They'll go on. Even me, I hold them every day with different people. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you think, who do you think will be the likely candidate uh, to, to be the flag bearer of court, in your opinion? We want to hear from you as... Opio Wandai, MP of Ugunja, what do you think about this? No, obviously, no, I will not delve into that. <laughs> yeah, because I think uh, the three principles, as it were, have got equal opportunity to emerge as a, a presidential candidate individually. So let's leave it to the court uh, coalition to handle that, to address that. Yeah. And we shall support whoever is nominated, by the way, fully, with all our might. So if it's going to be Moses Wetangula, you We shall support, support him? him with all our might and resources and minds and ensure that he clinches the presidency on behalf of God. That is a commitment we have given and we have made and we are convinced this is the only way to capture the state power so that we can save the country from the burden of this uh, 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 troublesome uh, government. <laughs> Yes. Well, before we come to the end of the program, I want us to look at the rebel MPs, MPs who appear to have broken ranks with court. What will happen to them? What disciplinary action will be taken against them, if any? You know, in this world, there are rebels with a cause and rebels without a cause. These so-called rebels we're talking about within court are those ones without a cause. And we are not bothered much. We don't take much time dwelling on the issue because it is unnecessary. We leave it, we leave the issue to the electorate. We will deal with it very, very effectively, you know, in a matter of months. So we don't want to, to spend time and energy discussing known issues. Yes. 
thank you so much for making time. We thank do you appreciate much, you making yeah. time for us. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. You have been watching Politically Correct on TVC. Of course, many matters that we have addressed. This conversation does not end here. You can follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook through the the. Twitter handle on your screen and the Facebook handle on your screen. Just send us your views and comments. Let us know what you think about what has been mentioned in today's program. Remember, you've been watching Politically Correct. And my name is Leangari. Until next time, do keep it TVC and enjoy the rest of your viewing.